Freddie Rubino here. A lot of times Italians grow up with certain things and then when they move on in life, they can't get it because the neighborhood don't have it or it's not the old neighborhood. One of those things that a lot of people miss is ragotta salaga. It's ragotta that's pressed and it's like a hard cheese. We put it in everything, on pasta, we put it in our salads, we just ate it on. So I just want to show people very quickly how to make your own. I make my own now. I can't find it since I was a kid. So I've been making my own for a while. All it is is pressed ragotta. Now I make my own ragotta. Very simple. Gallon of milk with a, uh, two cups of heavy cream, 200 degrees. Pour in a half a cup of lemon. Let it sit for 15 minutes. You scoop the ragotta up. Done. But if you don't want to do that, you bring it You bring it slow to a boil. Very slow. Like when your in-laws come over, the slow boil. When you're like... Grrr. Anyway, and if you don't want to do that, if you want to just go out and buy ragotta and press it for ragotta salada, you could do that. I just made my own ragotta. Let me just go over very quickly, quickly. Did I say Quigley? Remember Quigley down under? Your sister's down under. Okay, so I have a big, heavy pot with a weight in it because it has to be pressed. Okay, so that's what Italians do. They sell a press. I can make a press. But there's something about the cast iron pot with a dumbbell in it. Don't call me a dumbbell. Anyway. So, I had it press. See this Amazon, you buy a little cheese basket. Okay? It comes with this piece of plastic that goes over. Doesn't fit. Thank you, Amazon. I had to cut the bottom of a container that goes on it. That's the way Italians are. Okay, so this is cheesecloth. I just lined it with cheesecloth. Okay? Now what happens is you fill this with the ragotta. You put this on top and you press it with that for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, it comes out. You take it out. It's still a little wet. It's still soft. You got to watch out. You turn it upside down like your sister at the Super Bowl party. You put it back in and you salt the top, any salt. I use kosher salt, just a little salt. You let it sit, that, so that was for 30 minutes, right? After that, you take it out, you press it again for six hours. 30 minutes, six hours. When you take it out for the six hours, coat the whole thing, not a lot, but with some salt, it dries it out. Okay, then after the six hours, you turn it over again, and then you press it again overnight. And that's it, this was overnight. My ragotta salada, it comes out of the basket. It puts the ragotta in the basket. It's a great movie. Okay, and there you go, there's ragotta salada. Now this isn't ready yet. This is just pressed ragotta. And what happens is that the salt makes a rind, it, its own rind. So is it rind? I don't know. But as you can see, look at this beautiful piece of ragotta salada. So get a rack, something like this, so that air could flow underneath, okay? We put it on the rack. I can't even feel the salt anymore on top. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more of salt and I'm gonna rub it all over and on the sides, okay? And it helps dry it out a little better. And um, it, like I said, it makes it so rind. Even after the rind is made, you don't have to worry. You can eat the rind because it's not wax. It's not anything. It's just the cheese that's cured. So now I put this like this and I cover it. They have cheese boxes. Your sister's a cheese box. I just get a box. 
I just get a box and I cover it. Does two things. Keeps all the stuff from outside out and it keeps it in the dark because mold grows. If mold grows on it a little bit, just brush it off. Put it somewhere cool and dry, okay? Like me, I'm cool and I'm dry. So put this somewhere, like in the basement. You know where I put it? I put it right on top of the refrigerator. I put it on top of the refrigerator. It's dark, it's cool. 20 days later, we will have homemade regatta salada. If you wanna just buy regatta from the store, and make it, you can, okay? What are you gonna do? I know it's not the best regatta, but what are you gonna do, not have regatta salada the rest of your life? What are we, on a mile? So, that's it. I'll see you guys in 20 days. I'm gonna make a delicious dish out of the regatta salada that is gonna make everyone who sees this make their own regatta salada. What are, what are, what are you gonna do? Not eat regatta salada the rest of your life? It's so sad. Freddie Rubino here. That's it. 20 days.